Org mode is not only about the text, but we can also manage the code snippets for various programming languages, which means that we can embed we can include a, a snippet and it will be formatted and highlighted by default. Let's see how it works. Let me create another chapter, chapter two, the source code. And here let's add a snippet, a code snippet. There is a shortcut to do that and you need to press the less than sign followed by S for snippet and then just tab. Or you can just write this begin source and source lines by yourself but it's a little bit tedious. And now let's start with Elisp. So I can create a very simple code and it's highlighted. I can create a function like that, etc. I can do it for another programming language function so this code is automatically formatted if this snippet is too long I can open it in a separate buffer so it's easier to manage so I just press space M and the apostrophe. And now I'm here in a, in a separate buffer with the line numbers and I can uh, format my code and I can you know, write anything I want. And when I'm done, I just press Ctrl C, Ctrl C and this change is automatically included in the, in the snippet. So that's nice, but what's really great about snippets in org mode is that you can execute them. So when I'm here, and I press Ctrl C, Ctrl C, this executes the code. So in this case, it executed the last expression. So let's remove that. Let's execute it again. So now, as you can see, I have the result here, 14. Let's revert and let's execute this function. And it works. It's the same for JavaScript. So it says undefined that we need to use this and it works out of the box. So org mode comes with the support for many programming languages and even for the obscure ones you can find plugins which you can easily add to your Emacs configuration and this will work. This feature is called Bubble which is a coincidence with a similar name in the JavaScript community. These are different projects. So Bubble is a way in org mode to execute different snippets and in the future episodes we will dive more into that because you can not only execute those snippets one by one but you can define some variables outside of those snippets in the text because you know here in between i can just write something just a block of text explaining for example that this function below is, is great and it should be used in this scenario and this scenario and I can provide some data and then the script will be executed using those, this data and it's the same for the result so the results can be chained which means that one snippet can consume the output of another snippet and so forth so you can create a very interesting documents which and they can be written in different programming languages at the same time and the output of one can be input for another one. And I really like this feature, so we will dive into that. But for now, I just wanted to show you how you can quickly include snippets and how you can run them. To finish off, I'd like to show you a real life project that uses that, at least the part that combines different nodes. So I'm publishing my uh, personal notes on my website. And if you go there, there's a lot of links and all that is done through org mode so i can go to javascript and i have my javascript snippets here and the code as you can see it's those snippets are created through the method i just showed you and there it's, it's just exported to html and we will discuss how to do that in one of the future episodes i can manage that through emacs locally and then i just publish that and it's it corresponds one-to-one -to, -one to what I 
see in my Emacs on my own computer. It's a great way to, to manage nodes. So those nodes are not proper, but uh, I'm working on that and it's just a part of them because previously I was using some other tools. So it's still work in progress. That's all for today. May the Emacs Force be with you.